see that right hand at all. He may want to tie up. Big shot. This is going to take some. gentlemen protect yourselves at all times let's touch him up opening three minutes of this scheduled 12 round and he's holding Teddy, I assume many times in your career, you were instructing a fighter that was going to face a fighter who just had the longer reach, flat out had it. What did you tell him? What did you try to cement in his head leading up to that fight? You know, sometimes you get caught up when you're fighting a fighter with those great, outstanding physical attributes like tallness and height, reach advantage. You start to think that only one way is the way to go. You got to force yourself to work your way in. I remind myself and I remind my fighter that you can step out and make the taller man give up his height. Walk him into traps. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Halfway through this round here. Solid left hand to the head. Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there after getting hit. Mayweather's now feeling the after effects of being rocked by a huge hook to the head. He scores with the left. And now they're opening up. Both right hands land. Puts forth the hook, scores with it. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Nice, sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. The combo lands upstairs. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Off target with that hook. Committing up top now, he goes there again. if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle is not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. Mayweather's proving to be elusive. Good right hand. Mayweather's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Oh, Mayweather's up, putting forth up. that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Get out of the way from those 
Punch it! Move your head! Last 10 seconds. It's okay. Pay him back. Really wanted that uppercut, but just... You have to start throwing more in volume in there. Throw in volume. Mayweather's reached that fork in the road now. You get a moment to breathe, a moment to try to clear your head after being knocked down. And that was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now. Expect him to clinch. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. And now he's targeting upstairs. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Mayweather's being very patient here, but it's with a plan in mind. Yeah, it is with a plan in mind, and that's why he's such a successful fighter. He's trying to lure his opponent into a mistake. Just off the mark with that punch. Good counter punch. I loved how he moved off to the side and landed it. Yeah, that's real smart. That's something that you teach in the gym, and you love when you see it executed. He's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. He just missed that shot up top. He has his target. He lands a straight right. Mayweather's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Back to the body. Let's see some more head. Mayweather's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. To the head he goes with a left hand. See how he targets that hook? Ten seconds to go in this third round. And he scores with a three-punch combo. This round comes to an end. Relax. This fight is so close. Let's take a look at Teddy's scorecard where you can see that he's only got that one round in the bank so far at the beginning of round number four. But Teddy, just the psychology of the game, knowing that you've put your man down on the canvas, you really don't care about the scorecard at that point. Well, you know you're the boss and you can continue to be the boss. But more importantly, the opponent now is a little concerned about throwing something. He might get caught and he might get hurt again. Mayweather's crushed by that shot to the head. Well, if you're a fan of being defensively sound as a fighter, this isn't the guy to watch because he's opening up all day long. Yeah, he is. You know, he reminds me a little bit of my pool guy, you know. He doesn't put, yeah, he, he doesn't put chlorine in the darn pool and, and algae comes around. Well, if you don't throw your punches short, well, algae's not going to come around, but straight punches are coming. Mayweather's tagged by that powerful hook. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Halfway through round number four. Sets up that right hand with the jab. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Mayweather's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Mayweather's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Good job snapping out that jab. You know, if you're watching Muhammad Ali, you know you need a jab to move on the outside. But if you're coming forward, you need a jab, and there's proof of it. Mayweather's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Combo lands to the head. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Mayweather's combination punching is working well here. Good combination punching out of him here. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a musical, except right now, I don't think his opponent likes the tone of it. He missed with that headshot. Putting 
his punches together, landing two shots there. Mayweather's on the receiving end of a hook. Commits to the straight right. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. 90 seconds to go here in this round. A flush hook scores well for him. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Scores up top with the left. Scored well up top. Mayweather scoring with that right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Fight, but I believe it's a fight that he's winning. Yeah, it's the kind of fight, though, that you can't afford to let up at all. Or do what you just said. Think that you're winning. He can't really think that way. He's got to think that he's got to take one round at a time. The rest of the rounds, he's got to win each one of them. Committing to the combo now. Both land. Fires off that hook. A little head hunting with the right. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wish, the old great Willie Penn. Made him miss, made him pay. Halfway through round six. Tried the hook, didn't get it. And another right hand comes in. Up top with a quick hook. Ah, there's the double jab, and you can see he can do it up top as well as down low. Mayweather's hand speed right now, the difference with what we just saw, able to land that combination. Yeah, he's probably going to need a little bit more down the road, but right now, that's got him in front. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Took a shot. Now he gives the left. And flush with the combination upstairs. Six rounds in the books, six to go. Movements really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Little head knocking with that right hand. Good strong combo. Comes right back with some offense of his own. At the halfway point of round seven. Mayweather's really in position to control things in this fight. If he can do what he did just there, and that's land a good solid jab. He's losing this fight, and I think it's easy to see why. He's getting hit by that left hand far too much. Well, the most elementary thing, the first thing you're taught in boxing is use your left hand. The second thing, get away from it. I guess he never learned that second thing. He did not see.
see that right hand at all. He may want to tie up. Big shot. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. Mayweather's going to have to pull himself together here. Now, he beat the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around there wobbly right now. So what he's got to do is grab on a little bit and walk. Walk to the rope. Kill some time. Make the referee come in between you. And, and this round comes to an end. Fucking beautiful. That was, that was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. You know, I get the sense as we open up this eighth round that he knows exactly where he stands right now. He's slightly up on your scorecard, but you can see he's got a little pep in his step. Yeah, and he has a choice to make. Do you just stay in the This is what separates guys sometimes in anything we do out there. Not just boxing, but does he just stay ahead now? Does he just slightly stay ahead? Maybe the other guy catches up then. Or does he look to go after it? Does he look to close the show? Take more. He throws a big wide punch and leaves himself wide open. Well, it's like leaving your window open in your house in the middle of winter. You know, a lot of cold air is going to come in. Guess what? Some hooks are coming in soon. Mayweather's so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. He comes with a straight right hand. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. That right hand serving well. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Back to the Solid straight right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. How about that, another right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Wow. He is leveled. How could he 